Hello, welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters, and we are going to continue with the gas laws, and today we're going to look at Charles and Gay-Lussac, which basically have the same format to their equations, and so therefore the relationships are going to be the same, they're just going to use different values. So let's look at these two equations. So the Charles law is a comparison of volume and temperature and we're looking at initial volume divided by initial temperature is equal to the final volume divided by the final temperature and this relationship is a direct relationship which means if volume increases temperature must also increase and if volume decreases temperature will decrease. The Gay-Lussac law is a comparison of pressure and temperature where initial pressure divided by initial temperature is equal to the final pressure divided by the final temperature. And again, this relationship is a direct relationship. If you increase pressure, you increase temperature. If you decrease pressure, you decrease temperature. So let's look at how this would look and we are going to use this again machine that we looked at earlier notice that this time the pressure is being held constant because we are looking at Charles law here because we're comparing volume to temperature now the Gay-Lussac law works exactly the same except it would be pressure and temperature not volume and temperature so notice the weights are not changing on this piston so therefore we are not changing the pressure we are increasing the heat and that's going to cause an expansion of the volume and when you decrease the heat we decrease the volume so this creates a direct relationship and therefore as temperature increases volume increases and as volume decreases temperature decreases now again for the Gay-Lussac law this would be exactly the same except pressure would be on the y-axis and temperature on the x-axis but the relationship would still be linear and it would still be a direct relationship increase temperature increase pressure decrease pressure decrease temperature so let's look at a sample problem of how both Charles and Gay-Lussac would work and we're going to look at a Charles Law sample problem. And here we have a soccer ball on a cold morning has a volume of 0 0.80 liters. And the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. As the day heats up to 50 degrees Celsius, what will the new volume be? So we're going to list our knowns and unknowns. So we have a 20 degrees Celsius temperature and a 0.8 liter volume initially we're going to increase the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius and that is going to leave us with a, what new volume now remember for the gas laws we need to convert Celsius to Kelvin so this temperature when it appears in the equation will actually be 293 Kelvin and the temperature final will be 323 Kelvin so we're going to go ahead and set up our equation V1 over T1 initial volume over initial temperature equals V2 over T2 final volume over final temperature we set a, we plug in our values and we have 0.8 liters over 293 Kelvin equals the new volume which is what we're looking for over 323 Kelvin and we're going to do a little algebra by moving the 323 up to the other side and then 323 times 0.8 divided by 293 gives us a final volume of 0.88 liters so again once you have chosen your equation based on your givens your knowns and unknowns you simply plug in the values and use algebra to solve for the missing variable both Charles and Gay-Lussac's laws act similarly. Charles is a comparison of volume to temperature, while Gay-Lussac is a comparison of pressure to temperature. So go out and keep working on your chemistry.